Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we are taking a look at some of my best legend combos in Apex Legends for pub smashing, ranked play, and just general use in Apex Legends. Plus I'll have some interesting and fun combos in there to switch up the way you are playing with some alternative play styles. You don't always have to run the same combos every game, but I think if you are being creative with your combos, there is a lot of stuff you should be trying out, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of that today. Let's waste no more time and start off with our number one combo. First up, we are going to have the tried and true smoke and gun combo. This consists of our two biggest scanner legends, Bloodhound and Seer, with Bangalore, of course. This is a fairly obvious combo that has been around for a minute, but now with the Season 10 edition Seer, it just got that much better. I will say, it's a tough call as to who the better scanner is. Bloodhound gets highlighted enemies when they are in the ultimate ability, plus the scans for the team, of course. However, on the other side, you do have Seer, and he does get the entire radius of enemies tracked with his ultimate, and the enemy's health bars are revealed with that tactical, of course. It doesn't really matter which you prefer, but if you are able to combo either of these abilities in with Bangalore Smokes, you will more or less be able to track enemies while they are completely blinded by that smoke. The best way to approach this, I find, is to smoke enemies and then make plays with either of the legend's ultimate abilities. You may also want to think about swapping one of these scanner legends for someone like Caustic so you can blind enemies even more and also have a little bit of the offensive power or defensive capabilities with his gas traps and his gas ultimate ability. But who am I kidding? We all want to see enemies through walls. Bangler smoke in some ways creates artificial walls, you know, anywhere you want to. If you haven't yet, try out the bang, blood, and sear combo. I think it will do well for you. And it's something that has been around for a while, but it is worth mentioning. Moving on, we are going to have my Super Sweat Squad, and it is literally just that. It's the team that is really meant for the team where every player can hold their own, and the squad as a whole is really trying to slay out the entire lobby. The combo consists of Wraith, Pathfinder, and Horizon. At one point or another, all three of these legends have seen themselves at the top of the meta in Apex Legends. Combining all of them might be a little overkill, but I argue that even as a team, the legends will work quite well together. Horizon has offensive fight ability for the squad with the lift. Pathfinder has rotations with the zipline and offensive capabilities for himself with that grapple. And Wraith has a little bit of the scout and team transportation with her tactical and that ultimate portal. All these legends are great 1v3 legends as well. And I think that a squad that is really pushing hard will benefit from these legends as they can all handle themselves in fights with multiple enemies. This is probably my pick if you are going to be really sweaty and try to do the three corners challenge where you are all landing separately and trying to get as many kills as possible. Also, I find that if you are able to handle these legends, they all just will cater to a good time and I think it will provide you a lot of enjoyment in Apex. Our third combo is my top tier pick for ranked Apex, and this is going to be the combo of Gibraltar, Octane or Valkyrie, and Bloodhound or Seer. For this one, I have a few options for you as I think the meta is really conducive to either of these combos. In a lot of ways, I find Bloodhound and Seer to be very similar. I will say I do think that the top tier players know that they need and can just destroy Seer's ultimate, and I think this makes him harder to run in diamond or higher lobbies. But scanning as a whole is very crucial, and you'll have as much intel as you possibly can with either of these legends. I do think though Bloodhound will be a little bit more reliable in fights because the scanning as a whole is just opening up a lot more information in the area in front of you and I think this is a little bit more reliable again. For rotations I am picking either Valkyrie or Octane. To be honest either of these don't matter as much. I think Octane is still the better all around legend for movement and team transportation but Valkyrie is quite nice. Her tactical is also very underrated for stunning enemies and it is really crazy when it is in the final circles of the game because the circle is very small, you can stun entire teams and then make a play off of it. As for Gibraltar, he's the must pick for the squad in my opinion. Gibby just has so much usefulness, rotations with the dome, reviving players, providing cover when there is none available. The possibilities really are endless. On top of this, he can make teams rotate or use their dome when he is using that ultimate. And the gun shield also means safe peeking without having to take damage when you are trying to farm up damage on enemies. Since those ranked games might be a little bit slower, you might be peeking a little bit more at long range trying to really farm up the damage for the evo shields. This combo is my number one ultimate rank combo, so be sure to give these legends a try. Next up, we have my pub smashing squad. This consists of Valkyrie, Octane, and Loba. We've already mentioned Octane a bit now, but Octane is still solid for aggressive playmaking with his stim, and the pad will be nice to back up the rotation when Valkyrie's ultimate is down. Valkyrie is honestly probably one of, if not the best legends in pubs, 
for the specific use of her ultimate ability. Not only does it allow you to get rapid transportation every two minutes, it will also mean that you will be able to get higher kill games for yourself and for the entire squad. I also find that the targeting passive when you are flying is super nice, and even though it is a nice little touch, it does make a big difference when you are trying to find enemies to fight in pub games. For this squad, I am also pairing up Loba, and Loba honestly is more of a convenience thing, but honestly, being able to quickly swoop up loot in areas or after fighting will allow you to once again speed up rotations, allowing for more fighting, allowing you to get more kills, allowing you to get more damage. Also, Loba is pretty decent at getting angles with her bracelet, and I find this kind of allows her to scout around if there are a lot of enemies nearby. This squad will probably do well for you in pub smashing. It's going to make you a better player too because you are taking more fights and you're not spending as much time looting or just running around trying to find enemies. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to slam that like button. It does matter a lot and I would appreciate it. And stop over to Twitch where I do stream and I would love to hang out with you. Moving on, we have the wall. That's right, the ultimate defensive squad that is meant for cozy campfires, marshmallows, and a whole lot of, well, nothing. But in all seriousness, this squad combo is pretty decent for ranked if you are trying to grind higher placement. This combo is composed of Watson, Caustica, Rampart, and Lifeline. Watson allows you to lock down areas with defenses, and that ultimate is great at stopping incoming projectiles. You can pair this up with Caustic for gas traps and defensive layers that really make it tough for enemies to push in. You can also alternate him out for Rampart if you are trying to be a little bit more prone to dealing damage with those barriers, and you are expecting to be in buildings where her barriers will really excel at locking down doors and hallways. Finally, I am pairing up Lifeline with this combo for those revives. If you do happen to get picked off, I find Lifeline great to get a squad made up while the enemy teams are pushing over. Also, dropping a Lifeline drone and a Watson ultimate makes for some really nice passive healing where it'll help you bypass the need for some of those healing items. Next up, we have Easy Company. This combo is all about simplicity and it's a combo that nearly any squad can use due to the legends that are being picked. We've talked about all of these already, but we have Octane, Bloodhound, and Lifeline. All these legends at their core provide a lot of team usefulness, but in addition to this, they are also some very simple legends, which means pretty much any player can use them with some effectiveness and you should see decent results. I'd give this combo a try if you and some friends are newer to the game and you are looking for a good time without the need to rely on legends with some more complex abilities. If you have played Apex Legends for more than a day, then you have probably encountered this next combo, and that is good old Octane and Revenant. For me, I think the optimal pairing is going to be Crypto to top off the squad. These three legends allow for a lot of crazy high octane, literally, action that allows you to make insane work of squads, pop the rev totem, crypto EMP enemies for 150 total damage, and then pad onto those enemies to clean them up while you are in the death totem. This combo does take a lot of coordination to do effectively, but the great thing is that it doesn't really require any sort of skill as you'll just respawn at the totem with half of your health and you'll be ready to go at it again. Crypto really does rely on the pad a little bit here since he can be a few steps behind the squad while he is EMPing, but I find it well worth the time spent. Now we have Noob Squad, the combo of Mirage, Fuse, and Octane. This squad is really all about getting your enemies to feel a certain way when they do see you, and that mainly is to underestimate yourself. This alone can sometimes trick enemies as some just discount the legends instantly when they see them. Fuse and Octane are nice for launching in while Clusters and Fuse's ultimate is going off. I also find that Mirage's ultimate while he is flying through the air is just absolutely hilarious with the raining Mirage decoys, but even more so, it can sometimes work out really well and at the end of the day, this squad is all about just having a good time and trying to get some good laughs in there with you and your friends. The next combo is all about solid team coordination and ability usage. For this, we are rocking Horizon, Fuse, and Caustic or Valkyrie. Horizon for me in this combo is the real playmaker. A solid black hole placement can really catch enemies off guard, even if it is just for a brief moment. You can then pair this up with Fuse, Caustic, or Valkyrie's abilities. Once enemies are briefly pulled into the black hole, drop a fuse cluster on it to destroy them or even a mortar launch on top of that to trap them even further. You can also drop Caustic's gas grenades or even Valkyrie's tactical rockets to really just rain down fire on enemies. This also works by opening with a fuse mortar and then pairing it with again Caustic's gas grenade or Valkyrie's rockets. And once more, you could even open up with a Valkyrie rocket stunning the enemies and then trying to pair it up with some grenades from fuse or again those clusters. There's lots of playmaking with the squad, and I think it's something that gives a very satisfying and rewarding team experience if you can work together as this trio. 
If you like fast-paced action, then this next squad is an alternate of one we previously mentioned, and this squad also works for ranked as well as pubs. This is the combo of Valkyrie, Gibraltar, and Bloodhound. Valkyrie fits the rotation role with her ultimate, but this time we are also pairing it up with Gibraltar, who is key in this combo, for you will be rotating directly onto enemies, and then Gibraltar is going to be bubbling up as you are hitting boots on the ground. This will give you the ability to gain rapid cover and quickly analyze situations and eliminate the enemy squads. I will say Bloodhound is pretty crucial for this combo because the scans will help you quickly gain enemy locations and help you gain any sort of awareness that you just won't have since you did just fly in. This combo is a blast and I think it's absolutely a great one that will again work for ranked and as well as pub smashing. So what do you think of these combos? What combo might I have missed that you think some others should try out? Drop a comment down below and let us all know. Remember, this list isn't all inclusive and I think there's something like 800 or more legend combos in Apex Legends. So be creative and try new things out. If you have any questions about Apex, swing by the Twitch streams or hop into Discord and we would love to have you there. Till next time, happy gaming.